Hey, Luke, how's it going? Good. How are you doing? Good. Thanks. Um, just want to ask you kind of about this uh, emergence you've had these past few games. I mean, for a guy who wasn't even like playing the, really the, the first four games of the season, what's, what's it been like as you become a lot more involved in uh, the game plan and being productive? Oh, uh, it's been really cool. I mean, I'm just doing what I can, helping out where I need to. And like, if someone goes down, it's the next man up. That's all you can do. Hey, Luke, I'm wondering if you've had a favorite play that you've made so far this season. You got a couple touchdowns. You had that punch on the fumble. I was wondering if you had a favorite. Um, I think the Iowa State game, whenever uh, Deuce scored and I got to, like, block a safety in, or the corner into the safety, that was pretty cool because, like, I thought it was a big hit. It sounded like a big hit on TV. I thought it was cool to see. Yeah. How, how much pride do you take in your blocking and how far has that part of your game come? I'd say blocking is more important than catching and running routes because at the end of the day, if we don't move off the line of scrimmage, then we can't do anything. And so I think from coming here um, during fall camp to now, my blocking has gotten a lot better, but I still think I've got plenty of room to improve. Yeah. And then uh, during your senior year, you obviously showed a lot, but then you had some improvement before you got to Kansas. C can you talk about what that uh, kind of improvement, what the work you put in, uh, you know, following the end of your senior year to uh, playing season at least until you, you got on KU and what you were up to? Yeah, so I would uh, go work out with uh, Potts at top speed and uh, Lenexa. And basically with him, I would just work on like footwork and skill position drills, working on just getting bigger and better at every aspect of my game. And then over the weekends, I would go catch passes with uh, like NFL players or like run routes against DBs that were at Kansas or like at other D1 schools. And just, it was a lot of fun to get better over the off season. Yeah. And, and how do you feel like maybe that helped you? And, and who were some of those guys throwing you the ball? Uh, I had Carter Stanley throw me the ball for a couple months there. And, uh, over the early part of the summer and the spring. And then like Bryce Thompson, he was, he was there, um, had a couple other DBs that were from UNI and then a couple DBs like uh, Isaiah Simmons was there a couple of times and then a couple of NFL DBs were there and we would all work out together. Hey, back, back in fall camp, what were kind of your expectations for your freshman year uh, as far as how much you might be involved and what your role was going to be? Um, I was kind of leaning towards more special teams at that time and just kind of if I got in, I got in and just make the most of it and really just have fun with what they give me the ability to do. And, and now it seems like you've been uh, so effective. I mean, even if everybody's healthy, you're going to be <laughs> part of the game plan. How, just how unlikely has this, this year been just kind of the way it's played out for you? I mean, it's been crazy to think that you know, we cancel a game because we don't have enough people to play. And it's like, it really makes you look at the bigger picture of things of we got to keep ourselves healthy in order to keep everyone else healthy. And so it just shows that this is a bigger problem than what everyone thought it was and that we need to take it more seriously and that keeping ourselves healthy is the most important thing. Yeah, you guys are playing so many freshmen this year. What's What's kind of like the hope among your freshman class for what you guys might be able to achieve a year or two or three down the road? We ultimately, we want to win the big 12 and we want to get to the college football playoff and win as many games as we can within these next three to four years and just have as much fun together as we can. Do you guys talk about the future a lot amongst yourselves? All the time. We've got a group chat with all of us that were in this freshman class and we talk about it every day, every week, just how, we're ready to get better every day, day in and day out, whether that's in the weight room and the practice facility or on the football field. Who do you feel like are kind of the, the leaders of this class as you guys are having these conversations? I definitely think uh, JD, obviously being the quarterback, he leads us very well. And uh, Karan is our silent leader on defense. He's a soft-spoken guy, but he's a great player. And I think he leads our defense very well. Hey, Luke, you picked your scholarship up last year after camp what what do you remember about that camp and your performance uh i played db a lot and then got to play wide receiver a little bit and i mean it was fun it just however i could get here that was what i wanted to do and 
whether or not that was DB or wide receiver, it didn't matter to me. Hey, Luke, we had a chance to ask uh, your uh, Wes Miles about uh, the receivers that he's had in the past, and he's obviously had some talented guys, but he felt that uh, where you stacked up was right up there with those guys. So what does it mean to, uh, I guess, have that, I guess, sort of vote of confidence from your head coach? No, that's an honor. I mean, he's a legend. I mean, he's going to go down in the Hall of Fame for being one of the greatest. And so to have him be able to coach so many great people and to put me up there with him, that's, that's an honor for me. Hey, you mentioned Karan Prunty. Uh, how much have you faced him in practices and what kind of makes him unique as a cornerback that he can play at a high level as a freshman? Uh, we, I mean, we practice against each other every day, go up against him at least four or five times a day. And it's like you can't get into his head. He's not – he just has a reset button no matter what. If he messes up, resets to the next play, makes a play, forgets about it, and moves on. He's just – He's mechanical, he knows what he's doing, and he's confident in himself, and that's, that's what you got to do. Hey, Amari had a pretty big game on Saturday. What do you notice about his style as a running back, and, you know, what have you seen from him in practice? He's a tough guy, and that's what I like about him. He gets downhill, but he also – he can juke, and he can shift in the holes, and he knows how to jump cut, and I think he's a good all-around back, and he's definitely stepped in and made some big plays whenever his name's called. And is he one of those guys in your group chat that's more of the outspoken guys, or is he a little bit more quiet and laid back? I'd say he's a mix between the two. He's definitely – there are moments where we all are outspoken together, but I'd say he lets other people get their word in first and then comments after that. You guys play at Tech this week. Uh, what's, what's it going to take to get a win? What are you guys going to have to do offensively? We just got to move the ball. We had glimpses of it this last game. We got to put them, put them together, get rid of the mistakes, and just keep driving down the field. For us, this is, I mean, with Coach Jones, this is a bowl game for the wide receivers, and we want to go out there and prove it to them. On that touchdown, you had, uh, I guess, I uh, guess a little tightrope on the sideline. Is that one of the better catches you've made in your career? I definitely think so. I, I looked up over my head and I saw the ball, and I was like. I got to stop here because the sideline's somewhere near and just put my arms out and hopefully my feet were in bounds and they ended up being there. Anything else for Luke? Yeah, just wanted to confirm one thing. Did you say one of the guys you're working at, Bryce, uh, was that Bryce Tornaden? Yeah, sorry, I said Thomas, I meant Tornaden. Yeah, all good, just making sure, wanted to check. Yep. All right, thanks, Luke. Yep, I appreciate it.